Escape characters in JavaScript are used to represent certain special characters within strings, such as new lines, tabs, and quotes. These special characters are known as escape sequences, and they're represented by a backslash followed by a specific character. Here are some of the most common escape sequences in JavaScript. Let's start with single quotes. I have this console log statement, which prints out to the console that I am a JavaScript developer. However, we want to use a single quote inside of this. Now, if you haven't noticed, we're using single quotes to enclose the string. So using a single quote directly inside of it will not work because JavaScript thinks that you're trying to end the string right here. However, to avoid it, we can just escape it using the backslash. So let's put a backslash before it and this will fix it. So if I save the file, we're going to see I'm a JavaScript developer with a single quote. It's also the same case if you're trying to use double quotes inside of a string that is enclosed using double quotes. So in order to use double quotes inside of the string, we're first going to have to escape it using backslash and then add the double quotes. We can do the same on this side and save our file. And now you're going to see it says I am a JavaScript developer surrounded by double quotes. Now, because we're using backslashes, you cannot directly put a backslash in your string and expect it to work. You're going to have to escape the backslash as well by using another backslash. So if I save the file, you're going to see one backslash in your console. If you want two backslashes, you can escape it again by using double backslash. And now you're going to see two backslashes in your console. To include a tab within a string, you can use the tab escape sequence which is backslash T. And if I save my file, you're going to see it says name and it has more space on one side than the other side. It's worth noting that you can completely avoid using escape characters in these first two examples by just using a template literal using backticks. In this case, you don't need to escape any quotes because backticks is a completely different way of declaring strings.